Hey guys, so it's been some time since I last uploaded a video. It's you can see it's been three weeks, and I apologize for it. Over this time, I've been working on building an AI video editor, and let me walk you through that over the video itself. So the tool as of right now is called Video Silence Remover because I wanted to focus on one niche that is removing the silent parts of the video. Right? If you go through the website, you'll find that all of this is very, very new. As a content creator or someone who creates YouTube videos a lot, there are sections in the videos where you don't talk. Maybe you're reading the script, or maybe you're just re-recording something. Maybe you're thinking about something. Maybe you're showing something, or maybe navigating to some other page. And all of that editing takes a lot of time in the background. So while I am talking to you here over this video, I'll go through different screens, and there will be blank spaces where there will not be any sound in the video itself. But when I have to edit this. post the recording itself individually cutting those parts take a, takes a lot of time which is why i created video silence remover and i have bigger plans for it. but as of right now let's just look at what it does and how it works so in order to use it just go to the video silence remover.com and go ahead and click on try for free it's currently free so you don't really have to worry about putting your credit card details or worry about paying anything you should hopefully be able to land on the dashboard like this where you'll have an option to select video silence remover. now while it's called video silence remover it's way more than just that and let me explain you why firstly it will definitely go ahead and cut those silent parts for you. second it also kind of optimizes the file size such that the quality is retained but the file size is comparatively smaller than what than what the original file size was all right so once you land here all you need to do is select the video i'm also going to be showing you a demo video to demonstrate how it works so i'm uploading a 2 minute video that i had recorded for one of my shorts it will just take a few seconds before it's ready so let's take a look at this sample video that's kind of 2 minutes and 2 seconds long and let's focus on one of the sections of the video so so we're going to be starting from the 6th second in the video and listen to the video now note that google bard just added an upload feature on the website where you can now upload images and ask question about those images what this So you can see over the 12 second period odd I had two pauses where I had to think or maybe change certain screens before I move forward with the video itself and there are pauses right now while I'm recording this and then in the background when I'm editing the video I have to look through each of the silent parts and make the cuts in Premiere Pro before I before I do next set of edits on the video and this is important from the perspective of user retention so if there are so many pauses throughout the video it's highly likely that you will not continue to watch the video because it just leaves bad experience or bad taste for you as a user all right so let's go back to video silence remover now i have uploaded the file here and you have a couple of options so you can do the one that works well you can do heavy cuts where your background noise is low and you can do light cuts where you have higher background noise. just going to choose the default one because it works and you just click on the process file it takes a few seconds but you can see the file processing has started what what is happening now is that it's kind of using ai to identify these It's now using AI to identify these gaps or silent parts of the video and automatically editing the video in order for you to and then automatically kind of editing the video for you or at least doing the first cut editing for your for your videos. It typically takes around 1 minute to do the uh, entire processing. So let's so let me just refresh the video here. You can see it's already ready in a couple of seconds. You all you need to do is just refresh for it to show up on your screen. So this was the file that I had up. I reviewed the result it's not edited very well and that's primarily because firstly it's still in beta. Second, you have the options to kind of you know choose different options or maybe just specifically or maybe just manually specify what options you want to edit the video with. and this is primarily because the silence threshold can be different for different scenario so i'd encourage you play around those values as well if you don't get the desired result so i'm just going to click on the process file again the process is same it's going to be starting a process here again and you will also get notified via email once it's ready i'm going to refresh it you can see it's loading the file now all right so the new video file is here you can see the initial video file was around 2 minutes and 12 seconds but the edited one by using the video silence remover it's 1 minute and seconds now let's play this so if you are able to use gpt4's upload feature for whatever reason note that google bard just added a new upload functionality note that google bard just added an upload feature on the website where you can now upload images and ask question about those images you can see all the silent parts that existed in the previous videos have automatically been trimmed throughout the video now this process took the app around 5 minutes to do but if i had to do this manually on this 2 minute video it would have easily taken me 10 to 15 minutes and now all i have to do is you know some of the parts that are repeated 
for the video i have to make cuts for those parts and that's mostly going to be especially for content creators focused on releasing videos every day that's most likely going to be all the editing that we would probably want to do in the video to make it interesting for you guys so i'd encourage you to go ahead and try out the platform itself you can see that if your files don't come out as expected you can you can try different settings here in my case light cuts did it really well because it's optimized to my background once you find the setting that works for you for your future videos because the setting of your studio will not necessarily change feel free to use that same setting for the subsequent videos and that is pretty much going to be it for the video guys again i'm really sorry for not being able to upload videos for the past few weeks but i promise i'm going to be way more consistent now and i'd appreciate if you could give me feedback on this tool it will help me improve this over time that's going to be it for the video guys thank you so much